Yo, it's Small Mouth Crush. A beautiful fall day, a little windy, but I figured it's time. Why, did my, why is my spot lock moving all over the place? It's time to show you guys how to catch suspended bass with a little sneaky bait that I've been holding back from you guys. I love the viewers, I love the followers of the channel, and you guys know I, re I rarely hold anything back. How was that for an intro? Let's get into it, it's all coming up. All right, as you can see, I have a bunch of different baits up here because in the fall, anything can happen. Just got done doing a little square billing. So I might be able to make a video out of that. We caught a few fish on the A-Rig today. But I was cruising along and I noticed some suspended fish on the graph. And I thought, now's a great time to pull out my little trick. I've been saving it just for you guys. Look at that. A little sneaky sneaky. Let me see if I can catch a fish first and then we'll talk about it. So whenever I run across some suspended fish, one of my favorite ways to catch them is with, I guess they call it the Demigi rig. It's a, it's a horizontal presentation of, uh, of a bait that looks extremely natural. At least uh, I think it does. The fish do. They love it. Uh, it's really effective. I always have this ready to go in the boat. Uh, because it does happen and some of my best days especially this year have been catching suspended fish i just cast it out i'm in 17 feet of water they're about 10 feet down i cast it out let that bait fall into the water column and i'm just shaking it and reeling really slow keeping it up and just bringing that back to the boat there my bait's falling right to them He should be right on it. Come on. And he went right back down. He was following the damn thing. Let's try again. There he is. Got me all excited. I thought he was a monster. But. It's a fish. Maybe there's a couple bigger ones down there. All right, there's one on that wall. I'm letting my bait fall about 12 feet down, and then I'm just shaking it, right? Shaking the rod, keeping the rod up. I'm just letting that bait kind of swing through where those fish are suspended, and I'm just shaking it real slow. I'm not on the bottom. I'm just moving that through the water column. Uh, there's a bunch of them right over here. Right about here. Yeah, bunches of them. All right, they're about, they're about 10 feet down. There he is, got him. It's a little bigger one there. Feels big. Gosh, is it windy. Wind should be illegal. This is ridiculous. That's not a bad fish. I mean, it's, it's fish that you would never have caught. You know, obviously you need electronics to know that they're suspended, but then you need the right setup to catch those fish that are suspended. There we go. All right. Bait's still good. I'm gonna show you how I rig this up, don't worry. Okay, so let's talk about the bait itself and then the actual setup. So there's a lot of different soft plastics that work really well with this technique. One of the baits that I use is the Demiki uh, Armor Shad, the three inch. So here it is. Variety of colors. I like natural colors. So this is pearl blue, uh, pearl white, silver flake. Uh, I mean, match the hatch. You'll see here later. I, I use baby bass. I gave them a little different look 
when the bites slow down. If I'm fishing 30 or shallower, even 40, 40 or shallower, and it's not a lot of wind, and I can have good contact, uh, I'm gonna use a jig head, like I believe this is the Moon Eye jig head. I'm gonna use this, and this is an eighth ounce. I've gone down to 1 16th, but I do like the eighth ounce. And I just rig that up, just like you would think. Okay, exposed hook. Just like so, that's what it looks like. And so when you're fishing this, either swimming it through the water column like I am in this video, or dropping straight down on these fish, this bait is either, like when, when I'm casting it out, and that's giving it action, and in the slow retrieve, lifting that, that line is what's moving this bait through the water column. So obviously electronics are important. Uh, it helps me find the suspended fish. Regardless of what you have, I mean, even regular 2D, if they're not spooky, you can drive over a pot of fish and see them suspended and then turn back around and make cast to them and try to get a bite. Uh, I can specifically, with my electronics, see this bait fall a lot of times and see where it is in the water column in relation to the fish. And so what that does is allow me to have total control of this bait and see how it works, see how those fish react to it uh, as it's going through the water column. So I make a cast. I watch this bait fall down. Once I get to the level of depth that I want it to, I engage the reel and I just shake it and I'm just basically shaking it kind of in a pendulum motion. Uh, when I'm dropping straight down, uh, it's just watch on the graph, drop it right near that fish. I, I like to, uh, it varies on their mood. I've dropped it all the way down to the bottom, have a fish that's suspended come in, shake it, up to that fish, watch him, and he's either gonna grab it or he's just gonna keep watching it or start swimming away. Then I like to move it up away from them and that's when they'll normally go and grab it. So a lot of times when I'm dropping down on them, I see him, uh, I'll get near that fish and if he's not active, I continuously move it up. Okay, I want that fish to have to think that this thing's trying to get away from him. Now as far as the uh, rod and reel combo for me, I use a 3,000, a seven foot, medium rod or a medium light. If I'm using the 116, I'll use a medium light if I'm fishing some different soft plastics or some other sneaky things I do, which will be probably another video that we'll put out eventually. So this one in particular is a, for me, that's a large size bait. I actually use some smaller baits, almost like crappie baits for suspended fish, but that's a whole nother video. And when I do that, I like a medium light. But for this case, I do like a medium sized rod, so seven foot medium. I use small diameter braid, eight 10 pound test diameter braid to either a six or eight pound uh, fluorocarbon leader. Depends on the lake, depends how spooky these fish are, depends on your confidence, uh, whatever you want. You know, For me, uh, in this video is eight pound, but there's gonna be times when you might have to go down to six, four, especially for pressured fish that know what's up. All right, let's head back out on the water and catch a few more fish. Just looking, they're there, they're right, right in that zone. There's a few of them there, I, I scattered the school, that, that'll happen a lot. You'll scatter the school sometimes. There he is. That's a real good one there. It's a nice. Ah, uh, they all feel good. He's not that good. And he's off. Okay, we'll say he was good. Three pounder. I'll take him. I'll take him. So shaking, rod up, rod tip up, just moving that bait, keeping it, keeping it right there where I need to depending on the depth of those fish. There he is. Nice.
they're not even that big. There we go. Nice. Spot lock. Okay. Long, but not. Where's these five pounders, Travis? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna poke around just a little bit more here. We'll go back in studio. That's kind of my style lately. Cause I wanna fish. I don't wanna talk and explain stuff right now. I wanna keep going. Look for a different pattern. Go explore some more stuff. But let me get up here and try to catch one or two more. There's still plenty of fish up there. There's plenty of fish up there, guys. There he is. All right, they're getting smaller. They're getting smaller. They're getting smaller. Well, I think my bait's shot. Yeah, let me, uh, well, here's something cool. I'll show you guys. So that was like a pearl white. I'm gonna give them a totally different color and see if I can entice a couple more fish to bite. I gotta bend my hook back just a little bit and let's put a different color on. Still fish out there, right on the edge of that. Different color now. There's one. Oh, jumper. I mean, I know these aren't giants, but how can you leave? You, you can't. We're just out having fun. He liked the baby bath. Jesus, dude. For real, you really messed things up, Rohim. You really messed things up. <sighs> There we go. Let's see if I can straighten this thing out. Probably, barely, kinda. Yeah, we're good. It'll work. What are you doing, spot lock? Why are you running me up on the bridge? Doesn't like to hold in place sometimes. Anyways, in case I forget while we're in studio talking, finishing this up, I do tie a loop knot on that. So remember that there's a loop knot. I think it just gives a little more uh, natural kind of a free to free fall, uh, better action to the bait, if you will. What a way to end it, Fishy. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to wrap this video up. I would encourage you to try this technique. Uh, there's, there's a lot of different ways to catch suspended fish, and I'm hoping I can make some more videos in the future. I used it a lot this year. I caught hundreds of smallmouth that were suspended uh, with this technique, uh, with that bait in particular, with the, the armor shad. But I use a lot of different other plastics, so we really could uh, do a series of, of the different types of presentations that I use for suspended fish. So in the future, I certainly will be putting some more video out. So it was a windy, but a productive day for me. I caught, gosh, 50, 60 fish that day on different techniques. So I, I did a little bit of cranking. Of course, we ran into those suspended fish. Um, we, I threw the Alabama rig. I, I picked off a few fish doing that. It's just a little too early for that uh, to come into play. Water temp was still like 58, 59 degrees. And so, you know, we're middle of October, almost end of October now. So we need that water temp just to fall a little bit more, get them chasing, get them, get them schooled up a little bit. Uh, ended up doing a little bit of sight fishing. 
picked off a few good fish shallow and then probably caught 20, 25 fish on a jerk bait at the end of the day. So productive day. Uh, we'll have some more videos. Actually, Epic Eric's going to join me. We're leaving again. I just got back yesterday and we get to leave in two more days to head back up and fish the Great Lakes for some clear water. Giant smallmouth is the plan. I'm looking forward to that. We're going to have some videos. Uh, I haven't fished with Eric in forever. So stay tuned. Stay subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that button. Hit that bell notification. Let you know whenever I upload a new video. And as always, until next time, guys, we'll see you on the water.